In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we'd like to introduce you to and assess the Blogger's Social Media Pack. This is free if you're a subscriber or it's available for purchase if you're not. It contains six particles. The first of the six, as you see, are circles, triangles, and a few other assorted shapes that appear on your screen. Particle number two has a lot more rapid animation, featuring most of all X's and zeros, along with a few other graphics. Particle three has some pluses, angles, triangles, and circles. Again, is slower, and these animate around the screen as well. Number four is more faint. It's some dots, it's some lines, it's some other things that flash on at a very low visibility all across your screen. Number five is basically another rapid one with circles, rectangles, and right angles, along with a few other graphics. The last of the six happens to be one where you see a rapid animation of pluses and swirling circles, mostly, on your video screen. So those are the six particles. Look at the eight pip objects that you have available. Number one are text boxes that appear. Number two is a large heart and several smaller hearts on the screen. Number three is an envelope with a letter coming out of it. The fourth one is a magnifying glass. And then we go to the fifth pip object. It's a hand pointing to an action icon. The next one is a horn. That's number six. Number seven is a large star associated with smaller stars. And the eighth and last one is a thumbs up. So those are the eight pip objects. Now let's look at the 12 motion graphic titles. You can change the location of any of these 12. You can also change the magnification of them on the screen. You can also change the color and you can change obviously the text that's in each of them. Here's number six on the screen. That has again three elements. That's the most common. Number seven as well. Number eight on the screen right now. That only has two. Number nine And number 10 of the motion graphic titles in this package. Here's number 11. And finally, we're going to look at the last one, the 12th one in this series. So those are a dozen motion graphic titles. Now, what's my assessment? Well, when it comes to particles, color me not impressed. I don't see any of those that I think I would use on any kind of regular basis. For pip objects, well, I'm a little more positive about those. They have some limited value. I might use the envelope one from time to time. Title templates, they have the most potential. They're the ones that I would probably rank as they might be useful. You can take any of these title templates and modify them and just add them to your collection. I don't know why they call this the blogger social media pack. For me, it's misleading. But if you'd like to use this in your projects and you're a subscriber, you get it for free. Otherwise, it's going to cost you $50 US. I would probably encourage you not to pay that price if you don't get it for free and to download it judiciously if you do.